I've been meaning to do this video all week, but I'm so bad at procrastination. But anyway, here I am. It's Friday, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. So, for me, if you know me and you know my channel, Halloween is every day, even during the summertime. And even when I go to the beach, I'm Halloweening. So, luckily, this last weekend was Memorial Day, and Yankee Candle had their semi-annual sale. So, of course... I had to go when I was near an outlet down at the beach. I went in intending on getting a couple of candles and I actually came out with no wax at all. I, well, I did buy one candle, but it was for a friend of mine. Um, but I bought no wax for myself. And it's not that they didn't have like a plethora of things that I wanted because, oh my gosh, I mentally spent thousands of dollars I did not have in my head while I was there. But I did get lucky and they had a display of Halloween items that were 75% off. Oh my god. Okay, Halloween 75% off anywhere is a great deal. But when you're at Yankee Candle, that is a super good deal. And so my little gothic heart just went pitter-pat and I ran over to the Halloween display and totally forgot about the fact that I was gonna, you know, buy wax. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. Um, I will, I think, I thought I had the receipt in here, but maybe my husband took it. But I don't have the receipt. If I don't have the receipt, I'm still gonna tell you what I spent and what I saved. Uh, the first thing I got was this. I wanted this so bad last year, and I can't afford uh, to go to Yankee Candle and buy any of their decorations when they display them for Halloween when they first uh, get announced and everything. I just can't. This was normally $16.99, and my husband went ahead and got me the two black candles. I've got black candles, but I've melted. I've, I've burnt them, so they... Would not fit in here well so this is i mean come on now the candles were not um included in the they're not included in the price of this they were $1.49 a piece so i don't think that that was 75 percent off either so it's just this but oh my gosh if you know me you know how obsessed i am with crows and ravens i love them if it was ethical to have one for a pet, I would, but I don't think it's ethical to have them as a pet. But I, I absolutely love them. So that was number one. I'm so excited, y'all, because I'm freaking, I mean, I'm just obsessed with Halloween. And getting to Halloween at the beach, it's just like, I'm at the beach and I'm Halloweening. I'm burning and I'm Halloweening. It was awesome. <laughs> Okay, I wanted this so bad last year, and I could not afford it, and so they had this out, and I absolutely flipped out. The cauldron, it's got the same thing on both sides. If you look really close, this is textured. It's like beaded texture. I absolutely adore it. But I'm going to use this for candy. Um, candy for ourselves that technically I'm not supposed to have. But <laughs> who shares Halloween candy? Not me. This was originally $22.99, which is why I could not buy it during the Halloween season last year. So 75% off. Cha-ching. Mine. I was so excited about that. The next thing I got is, oh god, I love this so much. Oh, yes, yes. If you can't see real good, this is a cutout of a raven, and the glass is actually orange. So when you put a candle in here and light it, a pillar candle or a medium or large house warmer. I would be kind of scared. I'm kind of scared to put like a large house warming jar in there because I'm scared like I'll break it, dropping glass down in there. I might use a medium house warmer. But anyway, when you put the candles in there, obviously they glow through. You can see it glowing through the, do I have a flashlight? Maybe that would be freaking cool if I could show you what it would look like. 
Let me see if I can do this here. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't tell. This isn't working. This isn't working. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, that was bright. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that didn't work so great. I will show you in the dark when it gets dark. Do you want to hang out in the dark with me? I love the dark. Well, not when it comes to sleeping. I hate the dark. And one of those has to sleep with something on, like the television. Okay. This is last, but certainly not least. I think this is my favorite piece. This is the out and the inside. And I'm going to show you before I put the glass on it because it holds three tea lights, or you could put votives, but I'm going to do uh, tea lights because they're kind of close together. So it holds three tea lights, and luckily, um, since someone was so kind to send me some witches brew tea lights in the mail, I will be using those. But if you look close, you see the bats. Oh my god, aren't they glorious? And look, even on the wrought iron fencing, there is ravens on the wrought iron fence. And this is up my alley because uh, bats, ravens, hello. But I am absolutely obsessed with wrought iron fencing because, well, I love Gothic architecture and Victorian architecture anyway. So, but this is the glass and it's just plain frosted. But it slides down over the center. And so... If you can see, now the lady told me that the flickering of the candles actually makes it appear that the bats are flying. I'm not sure about that, but I'm definitely going to find out tonight. So where are my witch's brew? I moved my candles in there. Um, but when it gets dark, I'm going to come back and show you what all of this looks like in the dark except for obviously the cauldron now i guess if you could if you wanted to burn some wax in there or whatever i guess you could but i'm not going to it's going to be candy okay and this is not yankee candle this is actually hot topic because there was a hot topic in the uh tanger outlets or tanger however you want to say it. i say tanger outlets but i saw this sh i was plowing through the clearance shirts and you know me, I'm an absolute t-shirt nut, but I found a t-shirt that has my lady on it, <laughs> so I had to have it. And I got it for, it was originally $12.99, uh, no, it was originally $25, is it $25? It's, they put the sticker on top of it, and I got it for $12.99. So... Miss Elsa Lanchester, Bride of Frankenstein, and I am absolutely in love with her. I have loved her when I was a little girl. I watched a, but even before I knew about the Bride of Frankenstein, when I was a little girl, I watched a Danny Kay movie that's still my favorite Danny Kay movie to this day called The Inspector General, and she was in it, and she is so funny. She makes me laugh so much. And she was also Cakey Nana in Mary Poppins. And I'm an absolute Mary Poppins freak. So I love Elsa and the Bride of Frankenstein thing, as, you know, as I got a, a little bit creepier growing up. <laughs> the only thing that's sad is it looks like it would glow in the dark, but I tried to get it to glow and it didn't glow. But I really love this. I had to have it. It was a great deal. Now, as far as the Yankee Candle haul goes, I spent $38 on all of this glorious, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you how much this was. This was $29.99, so, sorry about that. So $29.99, $22.99, $16.99, and, oh, this was $22.99, and this was $22.99. So I got about $120 worth of stuff. I saved $80 and spent 38 stretching those Halloween muscles y'all $38 for all of this Yankee candle stuff and that included the two candlesticks that I got so that was an extra $3 so I spent about $35 just on 
the pieces themselves. No, wait! That included the candle I got for my friend. So, I spent less than 35 That's why I wish, I thought that he, he said the receipt was in my bag. It was not. I don't know what happened to it. But, uh, yeah, 75% off of these glorious items. I think the most expensive thing I, actually, oh, the most expensive thing I got was the $30 one, and I think it turned out to be like $8 or something like that. I cannot do math. <laughs> math. Who needs to math nowadays, right? We'll just let the computers do that for us, yeah. I don't math. But I do Halloween, and I do Halloween clearances very well. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will show you later on what these things look like in the dark <laughs> because we all love it when it's dark. But my Elsa, I'm actually going to wear her to one of my, um, when I go to the Halloween Horror Nights at Universal because she is a Universal licensed property. So I will be supporting Universal and supporting my lady and supporting Halloween and I guess supporting Rock Rebel because this is who makes this. And if you go and look at Rock Rebel's uh, website, uh, not sponsored, if you go and look at their website, they've got all, I actually want to get, they've got a Frankenstein one. I want to get the Frankenstein one for Matt so he can be Frankenstein and I can be Mrs. Frankenstein. But there you have it. There is my Halloween haul. I, can, I, might, I might end up wearing Elsa this weekend because, I mean, pff, every day's Halloween. <laughs> I'm not going to let somebody tell me I can't wear my favorite uh, spooky lady. So, anyway, there you have it, and thanks for watching. Hey, go out there, take care of yourself. Go ahead and start Halloweening. There are things about that we may find. I'm really excited because starting next month, I believe, is when the at-home stores will start putting out their Halloween. And I think towards the end of July will be Cracker Barrel. So I'm going to start stalking my stores and seeing what sneaks out a little bit at a time. So we will let you know and keep you updated on all things Halloween, all things Halloween decoration. And hey, Yankee Candle. <laughs> Love Yankee Candle. I think everybody loves Yankee Candle because they're amazing. So there you have it. That's my Halloween haul and I'll see you later. Have a very spooky weekend. Goodbye. I did find my Yankee Candle receipt, so I'm going to tell you what everything cost. Um, the Raven Knight was originally $22.99, and I bought it for $5.75. It was $17.24 off. The Multi Foggy Tea Light Holder, which was the $30 one, it was originally $29.99. I got it for $7.50. The Witch's Cauldron was originally $22.99. I got it for $5.75. Uh, the tumbler, the jar thing was $16.50, and I got it for $8.25. I think that, oh, that was what I bought my friend. Okay, the black taper candles, oh, they were on sale. They were two, oh no, one at $2.99. I got them for half off. So that's an outlet price. So I did not know that. So I guess if you go into a regular Yankee Candle store and you go to buy a taper, it's going to be $2.99. So the outlet price is every day 50% off. I love the outlet. Um, let's see. The Raven Knight was $16.99. That was the uh, fence that held the tapers. And I got it for $4.25. I spent $38.27 and I saved $80.96. So uh, there you have it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Yankee Candle, for having outlets. And uh, thank you, Yankee Candle, for having a semi annual sale so that us Joe Schmoes can afford to go and pick up great stuff that normally we could not because that makes me very, very happy. As promised, you can see now I've got a um, medium house warmer in here. And as you can see, the raven does indeed glow. You can get a soft glow of the trees. 
Um, I would probably get a little bit better glow out of the trees if I had a taller candle in, so it's only kind of lighting the middle part. But I don't have a large house warmer. But I love how the ravens glow. That's really nice. And let's move on. And here we have the other. I love the way the raven looks against the flickering candlelight. And indeed, the bats do appear to fly. If even in just our imagination, it's good enough for me. I really love this piece. Isn't that spectacular? This is just a stunning piece. I'm so happy to have gotten this. It's such a superb discount. So there you have it. I have not lit the two tapers because you know what two tapers look like burning. But I wanted to show you these. It puts me in the mood. And of course I'm burning Witch's Brew in this one. And I'm burning my old Beware in the other one. Now unfortunately Beware is discontinued. I wish they would bring it back. It's kind of like Witch's Brew. It's a patchouli, but it's like a patchouli licorice scent. And I really wish they would bring it back. So since I found out it's discontinued and I can no longer get it, um, I only burn it for a short period of time every year. I've had it since like 2008 or 2009, I think. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these. Don't they put you in the mood? Thank you for joining me. Stay spooky, my friends.